Welcome back, everybody, to Grand Tactics in the Civil War. I'm Grumpy Grumpa Gaming, and this is episode 28 of our Confederate Summer 61 campaign in version 1.10 using the AOM mod. Now, if you see, uh, we are loaded right into a battle here, as this one came up at the end of last episode. So it's always better to uh, load into the battles and save before you uh, break out. Uh, otherwise, you get this weird glitch that two battles get fought, whether you uh, fight it on the campaign map or on the tactical map. It's two battles are fought. It just does some weird things to the game, so it's always better to uh, close out from the battle map. So this is the Battle of Council Bluffs. And we got issues. So the Union's coming at me. With about 12,000 men to my 4,400. Thankfully, they have no artillery. I got seven guns on the field. This is the core of the Rio Grande. And it's fighting the first corps from the Army of Iowa. So my big advantage in this battle is that the... Army of Iowa is brand new, so is that first corps, so they haven't fought a battle yet. So I'm hoping I'm going to have a big morale factor in this fight. So they are, the corps has two entry points. You got this point here and this point here, so I'm not exactly sure where their army is right now, but the AI has already built this pontoon bridge here. And whenever the AI has built a bridge that means their deployment zones in that area whether they use that pontoon bridge or not because we've seen in past battles where they build them and don't use them so i have my core set up and a ring around the defensive point on the east side of the river or uh, my bad the uh, southern side of the river and just because i the AI might come down this way, which I'm hoping it doesn't. What I'm hoping is the AI decides to use this road here and follow the farm track and cross here. So I have the course set up where I have full frontal coverage here, artillery ranging out to the high ground over here. But if they decide to come this way, I can change the facings of all of my brigades here now you can see, once they start crossing here, it's going to be a free fire zone with a lot of carbines firing. So it doesn't matter how many troops they send across, I should be able to chew them up. I'm going to be at a disadvantage if they decide to come this way. But, like I said, it is a new core. And I think they're in the same boat as me, weapons-wise. So I'm hoping they're mostly armed with Springfield muskets. If they are, all of my carbines have comparable range with the Springfield muskets. So Springfield muskets have a range of 256 yards. I think my shortest carbine range is 255. So they have comparable range. So the entire core is set up here except for the Texas Rangers which is a viewer unit, they're out here just kind of watching out this way because they only have 180 men in that regiment, so they are going to be doing no fighting whatsoever if I can help it because they just can't take any casualties. So it's probably not a fight I should have taken, but I think I can do it. So I'll be back. All right, so the AI is decided to come from the south. You can hear them on this road here and see the dust trails. So it looks like they're going to be coming straight down this road. Possibly making a right on the farm track and coming in from this direction. You hear the cavalry in the lead. They don't have too much of that. I think they're one brigade, two brigades of cavalry equal in size to uh, my force. So uh, just deciding there, uh, I'll be back once the action starts. And here they come. It is uh, 1,300 in game. Finally have them. It took them getting this close to actually sight them, which is amazing. Uh, it shows it's partly cloudy for weather, so 
They're just outside of canister range. But this guy looks like he's already ready to break. So hopefully that will be the case for the entire army. That shows their morale as being fairly decent. Oh, never mind. That changed completely before it was, uh... They had higher morale than me. Their morale is at 49.4, so it really shouldn't take too much to see this brigade off. What the hell are you doing up there? So, both these artillery brigades are, uh... Fairly well leveled, but with skill laving the take out enemy artillery. So we will just let them come on. My biggest problem right now is that the computer wouldn't let me build any breastworks for the cavalry. Sometimes it lets them build it, sometimes it won't. It's a little weird. That just freaked me a little bit. They were behind the cavalry, so we didn't see them. And here they come. Ooh, what are you doing up there, Long Street? Is the cavalry gonna come in with them? It looks like. So move this division off the left into reserve. That might have been a bad idea. And someone got wounded in the first volley. Scurry. Commander of the 4th Texas got wounded in the initial volley. That's going to give me morale that not too bad, but it gave me one. These guys are armed with sharps. I got my, my guys outranged. That's interesting the way the AI is moving these guys forward and then backing them out. I've never seen that before. These guys must have Sharps carbines because they got uh, Fifth Texas outranged. Gaze ready to break, good. This battalion there. That's not good. Yeah. 
that brigade's broken. Okay, now I come back down to 45. Do not pursue, do not pursue. And get your asses up there. This flank. So I gotta bring my two reserve brigades. Corps Commander, Division Commander, right here. Should be taking that long for orders to go out. There goes another brigade. Good. My casualties are really high right now for how small my numbers are. But the artillery is what's making the difference, I believe, because these guys have never been under fire before. Yeah. So I'm already, uh, I'm over 400 casualties to their 300, which has got me at Is that the entirety of their army? It might have been. Huh. That'd be interesting if it was. I can't see what's out there, so how many brigades do they have? This is three divisions. Third division's got nobody in it. I think I'm fighting the second division right now. Oh no, I'm fighting both divisions. They both have casualties.
division onto the flank a little better. I might be able to charge him in and finish this off. Two regiments of Cherokees and a mixed regiment of Cherokee and Choctaw. Uh, check us on Choctaw. Oh, I thought I pulled you off the line. Damn it. win for your damn orders, really. Man, I'm already over 12% casualties. Oosh. This brigade's got sharp, so they should be able to rip into that flank pretty good. See those boys there. I uh, believe they might be withdrawing now. That'll be good. Yep, yeah, they are withdrawing. There goes that brigade. These guys haven't taken any casualties. I kind of want to charge my cavalry into them, but it'd probably be a very, very bad idea. Unless they start pulling off. Are they going to withdraw? Yeah, they're going to withdraw soon. What's that last brigade's coming forward? No, they're pulling off. Let's go finish off this last cavalry brigade. These guys are leaving. That's the brigade I was just looking at. Oh, you see them coming now, don't you? Come on, get in there, boys. Get your sabers wet. There they go. Speed. There we go. Speed this along now, and yep, they're glitched. Awesome. All right. I actually thought I was going to lose that one for a second there, and we ended up did causing more casualties in the end. 
especially that cavalry brigade we charged into. So, uh, he's lost uh, 400 of his 10,000 infantry, 850 of his 2,100 cavalry. He had no guns on the field. For a total loss of 1,200 of his 12,000 man force. Which is much better casualties than ours when you look at it overall, because we took 630 casualties out of our 4,400 man force. Which is not good. So, I only have the one viewer unit in this core, and they didn't fight at all, so, uh, I'm going to go look at the paperwork. That was an interesting little action that we had there. General Withers is now famous. Watch, he's going to start feeding with Longstreet. So that battle was really the AIs to lose, and they lost. If they'd pushed that entire division in at once, instead of coming piecemeal the way it did, that would have been. General C.F. Jackson, was he one of mine? That would have been a lot different if they'd pushed in the whole division instead of piecemeal the way they did. Thank God they did it piecemeal. All right, the enemy has probably suffered total casualties of 1,248 men. There of 90 killed and 827 captured. I think it's our second largest number that we have captured. Our casualties total 634 men with 74 killed and 70 missing and the rest are wounded. We've captured 944 rifles and zero guns from the field and sent 757 soldiers down to Andersonville. How many men we got shoved in there now? 16,099. We had more in there. I could have sworn that number was over 17,000. All right. So that was the Army of Iowa's first course, first battle. So their first battle jitters are gone now. So the Corps of Bureau Grand wouldn't be able to put up another fight against them. I guarantee you that. Especially if uh, First Corps of the Army of Missouri comes back in. The Corps of Florida is continuing it's on its way. And we finally roll off down here? Not yet. Still waiting for this to roll off. I want to see if these guys retreat into Kansas or not. For some reason, it's taking 131 hours to get movement orders to the Corps of the Missouri, which I don't understand. Oh, before I forget, we do have that one wounded officer we have to replace. Unless they replaced him already. Nope. William Scurry. Volunteer Officer, Texas Unit. Now we scroll past Texas. Looks like I did. Yep. Right, who's up next? I still have the smart by seniority, right? Yes, I do. So, uh, Thomas Harrison, you're up next. Mexican War veteran. You got the job. I think as, uh, as soon as Longstreet's ready to move, I'm going to be pulling him out of there. That other core comes down to this one, comes back. He's not fighting it. I'm hoping the rest of the month is going to be quiet. But 
I do not think it will be. These guys didn't go too far. You know, all these units lined up over here. Might see one more battle before the month's out. I thought it was going to be another battle out west, but the core of the Missouri is just taking forever to get moving. More than a week to get those orders, which I do not understand. That finally is rolling off. Please tell me they're going to Kansas. Please tell me you're going to Kansas. And they are not going to Kansas. The Army headquarters is. The Corps are not. Damn it. Ugh. Now I've lost sight of the Army that was over here. That are probably still over here in Mexico. That's where they're retreating to. Probably coming over here to Jefferson or even Georgetown. All right. Court of Kanawha is now in Cincinnati. Court of Monongahela is still flipping Columbus. Alrighty, I think I'll pause it here and I'll be back when something else happens. Alright, so the Raider Squadron finally got up to 100% ammunition. I just gave them raid orders and they're heading out to this fleet that's out here somewhere. So I'm hoping they don't get into engagement and then disengage. It looks like the French Disappointment's got supplies also, so they're not in range to engage. So we're going to move them up here. And see if we can't get into a fleet action. These guys are retreating fast, and this core is not. Re this is still Union controlled territory, and they're down to orange, so they are not in any condition to do anything. Core of Missouri is still 80 hours away from their orders. And we have flipped Columbus. So I'm not going to move this army again until Cincinnati has flipped. Then uh, we'll come north up here towards Lima and see if we can't engage the uh, First Corps of the Army of Tennessee before they get any stronger. But I didn't think I was going to be able to take Ohio, but uh, I've already got four of their cities. Correction, three of their cities. There's two more to grab, Toledo and Cleveland. So, I'll be back when something else happens. You're yeah, right, the Virginia is starting to get into some action here. and We've hunted down the uh, USS Pampero. Let's tell me what type of ship that is. Uh, a bark, not a big boat. And the Wanderer is a brig so this shouldn't be too long of a fight for them times five moves along yep Pampero's down 61 86 and Virginia's just ripping them down Pampero's down to 40 That's the Pampero and the Wanderer. They're both out of action. Awesome. So Gulf Blockade Squadron is retreating, and we took down two to ships. So I didn't get a sighting on the fleet, so I don't know how many ships they have. So now we are sending in the French Disappointment, see if they can't finish the job. There's a Florida Key Squadron and the Blockading Squadron. I'm both over here now. I 
and the New Orleans squadron hunting for a target. All of a sudden, all my fleets had ammo. And we'll see what else happens. What we got here? All right, Bragg's at destination. So we're gonna build him a supply depot. Ooh, that was expensive. This way, when he goes to take on Fort Kearney, he will be supplied. And as soon as he's done with that action, I'll tear down the depot. And I've lost sight of all the Union forces out here in Missouri, so they're all down here. It's uh, September 26th, and my, something's got my neighbor's dog set off. Sorry about that, I had to break away for a second. Something had the dog set. Something set off my neighbor's dog, then set off my dog, so it just got a little loud. Here's the squadron. Nine ships, two disabled, 67 remaining. Hopefully the uh, French disappointment can do some more damage to that fleet. Now you turn off raid. Turn to port. Get refit. Don't want him going back out again because his readiness is down to yellow. Goes out. See how fast his readiness was all the way up here, and just find those two ships where his readiness down to here. So he needs to refit. That's why I lost those ships. That's why they did a scuttle before because they were winning that fight, and all of a sudden their readiness just tanked for no reason. Any experience out of that? Not much. Let's see what type of damage the difference disappointment can do. Looks like we're coming up on the end of the month also, which would be good, because we can just open the next episode with the monthlies. And he didn't even fight. Okay, so what the hell? Where's he going? Oh, is he too far away from port? What the hell's going on there? That didn't make any sense. Oh, New Orleans is not blockaded anymore. Really? All right, he's moving to engage now. Let's see what happens here. Oh, crap. He drew in the Raider Squadron. Not good. What do we got here? Two fourth rates. And a Niagara, which is a steam frigate. This will be the last action for the month. Mortar Witch is already down at 59%. on Niagara and 93. Hopefully we capture the Niagara. Because I could use her. So I'm starting to capture enough ships to build a deep water navy. Alright, looks like we're going to capture the water, which I'm just... I don't know what I'm going to do with her. 
Carnation. It looks like Niagara's withdrawn. Yep. Niagara got away. Oh, well. From his Raider squadron got Drew into this. I don't want them in that fight. Turn to port, damn it. I don't want you fighting them. Not quite ready to fight yet. Once you go back full green, we can send you back out. And New Orleans squadron's heading out now. I think they're going to be biting off more than they can chew. But it's a bunch of ships I don't care about. But the Florida Key Squadron's only 27 guns. The Hope Arcane Squadron 2 is 110 guns. 10 ships, 5 disabled. So those are all the big boys. And this squadron is a bunch of 3rd and 4th rates with one cotton-clad ram. Not a very good fleet. Yeah, screw it. Let's see what happens. Nope. Decided not to fight that one out. So where are you retreating to? Alright. Apalachicola. Alright, it's now October 1st, so I do believe we're going to end this one here. Open up the next episode with the monthlies. Looks like we're starting to make some headway into golf again, but... What? It always seems to be two steps forward and then one step back when it comes to the golf. The good news is the railroad down there is almost built. It's at 97%, so it's actually building faster than it was initially. It's got 15 more days till it's complete. So that will help with revenue. After that is complete, we'll start building the uh, Tallahassee Savannah line and my east coast will be connected. Alrighty, yeah, we'll end this one here. So if you're a new viewer, return view, if you've not yet subscribed, please think about hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, remember to hit that bell icon so you alerts when the next video comes out. If you like a brigade in one of my armies, please let me know in the comments below what type of unit, state, uniforms, weapons, officers, and I'll oblige on all counts if possible. Comments, 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 please keep them coming. I know I got, I answered everybody's comments from the last episode pretty late. I was out of town, so uh, I got to them as soon as I could. And I will see you all at the next episode. Stay grumpy.